Day two of the trade show brought attendees into the ARA Show 2023 looking to buy before an evening of fun events and networking. Highlights from a packed Tuesday in Orlando kicks off right now on the ARA Show Daily Buzz for Wednesday, February 15th. I'm Steve Campbell with Rental Management. All of the equipment that you see here at the ARA Show, it is the star of the show on the second day of buying on the trade show floor. That includes this haul out scissor lift that I am on. Meanwhile, attendees and exhibitors get together at events here in Orlando. They began bright and early with the Women in Rental Breakfast. Women of the industry were celebrated and empowered with speaker Connie Podesta. She spoke on personality styles with plenty of humor to get the day off to a great start. It's fantastic in the sense that we have this sense of camaraderie and it's this place where we can all come and share and celebrate ourselves and feel the female power and uh, connect. It's even more exciting to see all the men here to support the women. Um, they're not just like sending us off on our own um, to you know, advocate for ourselves, but they're here advocating with us as well. Exhibitors had consistent booth traffic throughout Monday and Tuesday was no different. After only one show in the last three years, both attendees and exhibitors are glad to be back together face to face. For me, I like to put my hands on it. I like to see it. I need like chairs. I want to pick it up to see if it's heavy or if it's not or whatever. So um, really feeling confident in what I'm buying. Um, for me, being able to really see it, sit in it, touch it, all that kind of stuff is, um, is valuable. You can call people on the phone, but until you have face-to-face -face interaction, um, it's just nothing like it. So it, it is very, uh, it's nice to, to actually meet the people that you talk to and hear their feedback. It's a really a quality product that, that's meant to help in working conditions, reduces eye fatigue. There's no other replacement, there's no replacement for seeing the product in person, really. And this gives, the ARA, ARA show gives us the best opportunity to do that. Racing around the show floor takes on new meaning here at the ARA Resource Center. Everyone has a chance to get the fastest lap to win NASCAR tickets before getting information on ARA products, services, membership, and networking opportunities. There's a lot of great information at the booth that they can learn. They can learn about any new upcoming education that we've got out, the new workforce development projects we're working on, how to better market their business, and overall just some general pro-business resources that we can offer them. So this year we have a photo booth set up where you can take a picture with your team. We also have the NASCAR simulator set up where you can get in and try a lap out and see how well you can compete with your fellow workers. Uh, it's a lot of fun in the booth. I definitely recommend swinging by and saying hey. With two days of buying and selling nearly in the rearview mirror on Tuesday afternoon, attendees and exhibitors took a breather with a beverage at the show floor reception. $1,750. Following that was the ARA Foundation Charity Auction and Reception. Nearly 30 items donated by exhibitors were up for bid. Money raised helped support the ARA Foundation's initiatives, including scholarships, employee training assistance, disaster relief, mentoring, and more. Supporting the foundation at the show is really important to me. I've been going since we first started, um, and it's great to be able to give money back to the foundation so they can help for scholarships, they can help in stores when they're in need, uh, and helps make our industry much stronger. A packed Tuesday ended with an exciting evening at Universal's Islands of Adventure theme park. The ARA Show 2023 wraps up on Wednesday with the final hours to buy on the show floor from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. This has been the ARA Show Daily Buzz.